Hello, my name is Shalanda Chaudhary and in this video, I'll show how to use ingress controller in Azure Kubernetes cluster. So let's start. So what is ingress controller? So ingress controller is a pod which can make changes to the load balancer based on the rules defined in the ingress service. An ingress controller is used for the following reasons. We can use the single IP address to route the traffic between the multiple services. Let me show this. So whenever we create a Kubernetes cluster, a load balancer is created along with it. So this is a load balancer. Now this is the Kubernetes cluster we have, AKS cluster. Now if we are deploying an application, app1, and we want to expose it to internet, then we'll create a service with the load balancer, service1. So as soon as we create the service1, a new public IP will be assigned, which will expose the HTTP or HTTPS port of the application1. Now if you are deploying application 2, then we'll create the service 2 and it will create another IP address. This is public IPs, public IPs which are on the load balancer. Same for the service 3, that means whenever we create a service, a new IP address is assigned. So to overcome this, we can use the ingress controller by which we can use the single IP address and then route the traffic to do all the different instances of the application. So if we'll go back. Another benefit is the traffic routing. We can do the path-based routing, host-based routing. In the path-based routing means, if we have a domain test.com and if we want to go to application one, then we'll use test.com slash application one and test.com slash application two, then the routing will happen automatically to the different instances of the application one and application two. And in the case of the host-based routing, if we are using app1.test.com, app2.test.com, then the routing will be done based on the name of the host. So both these type of routing are supported by Ingress controller. And the third one is the TLS termination. Azure Load Balancer is a layer 3, layer 4 load balancer and it doesn't support the TLS termination. To use the TLS termination along with the Azure Load Balancer, we have to use Ingress controller. There is another option. We can use the application gateway, which is a layer seven load balancer, and it will take care of the TLS termination. But in this case, we'll use the TLS termination, which will be deployed as an NGNX pod within the Kubernetes cluster itself. So this is the architecture diagram of the ingress controller, how it will be used. First of all, ingress controller will be created where one or more pods are created based on the requirement. This ingress controller is directly linked to load balancer. So whenever we create an ingress service based on the different applications which are running, like for this is application one, application two, then we'll create an ingress service above them. And each application will have a cluster IP internal service. So that means it's not exposed to internet right now. So these two services, cluster IP services are created based on different applications. And to manage the routing, ingress service is created. Now based on the rules defined in the ingress service, Ingress controller will create an IP in the load balancer, public IP, and load balancer rules will be created based on that. If it's path-based routing, so path-based rules will be created. If it's host-based routing, then host-based rules will be created. And we can also assign the TLS certificates here. So in this demo, first we'll create the ingress controller. Then we'll create two different deployments for application one and application two. And for application one, we'll create cluster IP service for application two, we'll create another cluster IP service. And finally, we'll create the ingress service to manage those cluster IP service, which will further create and the different routing rules. For this demo, I'll use the same AKS demo cluster, which we have been using for the whole AKS series. So let's go to the cloud shell. Let's check the cluster nodes. There is one user node pool and another system node pool. So first of all, I'll create a new namespace, which is ingress basic, because we want to deploy the ingress controller into that particular namespace. So the command is kubectl create namespace ingress basic. Namespace is created now, let's check. As you can see, ingress basic. For installing the ingress controller, there is a community project, and I'll use the helm to install the ingress controller here. And the same information is available in the Azure Kubernetes service documentation. As you can see this Azure documentation, these are the steps which have to be performed. 
but instead of using these steps i have simplified them a little bit so now we'll add the ingress repo which is present in kubernetes.github.io ingress nginx so let's add this repo using helm it's already added because uh, i ran this command i tested it before creating this video let's update the repo all good successfully updated and now finally let's run the ingress create command so it's installing the ingress nginx where the namespace is ingress basic and the two pods will be created and rest are the default information which have to be provided it took few seconds and it's deployed now so the load balancer ip is created now and you can check the ip using the kubectl get services command and it's given an example that you can create a path based routing where you can define the path and you can create a tls certificate but in this video we will be only checking the path based routing let's first check the resources which are created now so using this command i am getting all the resources which are in the namespace ingress basic So as you can see, two different pods are created because we defined the replica set as two. And two different services are created. One is for the load balancer, one is for internal, which is admission controller. And the deployment in the backend creates a replica set as well as the pods. So there are two pods in this deployment. If you'll go to the load balancer, you can find this IP in the front end IP configuration. Let's go to the load balancer load balancers there is only a single load balancer with the name kubernetes and if you'll go to the front end ip 2092.223.201 which is the same ip which so ingress controller created one ip in the load balancer and now we have to define the different routing rule using the ingress service but before that we have to create application and the different cluster ip service so let's first create an application one I have already uploaded the files here and you can find the same information in Azure documentation. All this information is available there, how to create the deployments, how to create the service, but I have already uploaded the files here. Let me show the file. So it's creating a deployment with the AKS Hello World 1 match label as app is AKS hello world one and it's taking the Microsoft image for the AKS hello world and it's creating a public IP service. You can define it two different YAML configurations but in this case I have used the single one. If you use the three dash that means it separates the two configuration. So let me create this kubectl create hyphen f AKS world one. So as you can see, first a deployment is created and then service. Let's check kubectl get pods and service. So there is a one pod is created. And as you can see, AKS hello world one, one cluster IP service, which is for the internal communication of the pod. And these pods are not exposed to the internet right now. Let's check the another file, which is two. Same way the name is just provided two, same image, just the different values of the title, AKS ingress demo, and same the cluster IP service is created with a different name. So let's create this two. Now AKS demo world two deployment is created and service is created. Let's check. As you can see, there are two different pods. One for AKS hello world one, another for hello world two. Same with the service for one and two. Now we have ingress controller defined and we have two different applications running with their own cluster IP service. Now the final step is to create an ingress service and do the path based routing on that. So let's check the third file and it's a hello world ingress service. So the name is hello world ingress, kind is ingress. 
and it's checking the ingress class of nginx ssl redirect and all those terminations are false right now it's using the rejects here and the rewrite target so if the path is hello world one then it should go to the service aks hello world one if the path is hello world two then it should go to aks hello world two and in case if the path is not defined it should go to the first one hello world one so let's create this ingress service So the ingress is created now. Let's check. As you can see, the hello world ingress is created for port 80. Now let's get the service first. Service in the namespace ingress basic. So this is the IP address of the load balancer. Let's take this IP and open. And first, without anything, it should go to app one which is hello to Azure Kubernetes service. If I'll do hello world one, it's the same one. If I'll do hello world two, then it's going to application two. Now, as you can see, the two different applications after creating the service are still exposed to internet without creating multiple different IPs in the load balancer. I'll be creating more videos on host-based routing, how to apply TLS certificate and using the DNS for the host names. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.